So Keddy, what would your top tips for CPA Australia members already providing or looking to provide financial services be? Okay, so if you haven't started your training now and you're looking to become licensed, the reality is you're not going to make it by 30 June. So I would encourage members to actually start their training, but then consider becoming an authorised representative, as John mentioned mm -hmm. before, because that option does not end on 1 July. Um, if they're looking to actually incorporate financial planning into the business, there's other options like we spoke about before with the in-house financial planner or a joint venture type arrangement. Mm -hmm. um, I think the most important message for members though is to actually stop and rather than thinking if they need to be licensed or not, do a bit of a stock take. What advice and services do you really want to provide? Work out if you need to be licensed to give that advice. Mm -hmm. And if you're only going to be licensed to give you know, advice a couple of times a year, it's really not worth it and it's going to be too much of a risk and you need to look at other solutions for your practice.